Okay then, so we're going to do this cover lesson on cells. So whether you've done cells uh, before or not, it doesn't matter because this is a big topic that's bound to come up in an exam. So it's always worth doing again. So you put your date, whatever the date is today, you're going to underline it. And then you're going to put this as a title, cover lesson. And this is cells. And then we're going to do keywords as usual. So your keywords today are organelle, function, and site. And then you're going to complete this do now activity. What am I? So these are just standard questions in science that we should know from key stage two and key stage three. So your first question, I am a particle with a positive charge. What am I? I am found in the nucleus of an atom. So I could be one of two things there. I am a force, and that is debatable there. I am a force that keeps things stuck on Earth. So what keeps us on Earth? That force. I am the Earth's natural satellite. What am I? And then the fifth question there, plants need me to grow. I've also got a challenge question down the bottom. Name all eight planets in order from the sun. So hopefully we can do that. So press pause now and have a go at these questions as I zoom in on the date, title, keywords, and our questions there. So press pause. Okay then, so here are the answers. So your date, your title, your keywords. I am a particle with a positive charge. I am a proton. Get yourself a red pen and tick these correct if you've got them. I am found in the nucleus of an atom where you could have been a neutron or you could have been a proton because they are found in the nucleus. I am a force that keeps things stuck to earth, gravity. Um, and like I said, that word force then could be argued that it's not a force, but we're going to keep it as a force for now. I am the Earth's natural satellite. I am the moon. Plants need me to grow. I'm the sun. And then there's the order of the planets in order. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. My very easy method just speeds up naming. And then planets. Pluto used to be a planet. Okay, so in this lesson, I'd like you to do everything with me, okay? I'm going to go to the next slide now. And I'd like a little title of animal cell. You're going to underline this with me, okay? Just underline it like that. And then around about, I don't know, five lines down, I'm going to draw an egg. And I'm going to shade this. Okay. You might have done this before, you might not have. Chances are you would have done it before, but it's excellent um, revision anyway. So we've got this thing here. Then we've got this thing. Then we've got this thing. And then inside this, you could do... I'm going to just zoom in here now. And remember to press pause at any time. There's like these little things and there's hundreds. Well, there's going to be more than a hundred. There are thousands of these things in each cell. And these things are called something else. Okay. So we're just going to label these up now. So this is this thing in the middle. The big thing, biggest thing in an animal cell is the nucleus. Then we got a cell membrane, not a cell wall, a cell membrane. Plants, uh, an, plants have only got cell walls. Animals haven't got a cell wall. The stuff in the middle is called the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. And then these uh, little things with zigzags in them are called mite or chondria. Uh, mitochondria. Mitochondria. So there's four things in an animal cell. Again, pause this. Do it in your own time. Um, but I'm going to sort of keep the video quite quick. But obviously this will last longer. Now I'm going to do the plant cell. And then we'll talk about each organelle. These things, each thing by here is called an organelle. These are called organelles. So you might want to put that there. So these things are called organelles. If you get a question, um, like name the organelle found such as such. Okay. Now we're going to do a plant cell. Now, if you've got room on the same page, okay, it's going to take a similar sort of space up. If not, move to your next page. And this time, it's more of a rectangle shape. Again, I'm going to come sort of four lines down and draw sort of a picture frame on its side there. So I'm going to do the inside. So we've got two walls there. 
Okay, I'm going to start labeling these. So this, the outside is called your cell wall on a plant. And then the inside, just like on the animal cell, this is called the cell membrane. And we're going to talk about these organelles in just a bit. Now you're going to do the, should we stick the nucleus down here? Is that for a change? Let's stick the nucleus down here. Okay, this is the nucle, oops, did that wrong. nucleus. Okay, so that's three things. There are seven things in plant cells. You might want to do this. There are seven things there and there are four things in a plant cell, okay? Four organelles and seven organelles, just for us to keep track. And then I'm going to draw like a... Sort of, this will this will be the biggest thing in the in the plant cell. This is called the vacuole. Vacuole. Okay, that's the vacuole. Now we've got the cytoplasm, just empty space. Well, it's not empty space. It's a it's a gel-like substance. We're going to talk about that in a bit. So this is called the cyte or plasm. Keep it neat now, guys, in your books. Then we've got the mitochondria, which kind of look like this, these zigzag sort of things. Okay, relatively small. Okay, we'll do that over here. The mite or chondria. Mitochondria. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six things already. There's one now that the plant uses for photosynthesis. And I'm gonna do these a little bit bigger than the mitochondria but I'm not gonna put any zigzags in them. If anything, what you could do, okay, is a little circle, because they, they're double membrane there. Okay, and we'll call these the, let me just zoom out a bit, chloroplast. Chloroplast, so that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven organelles in a plant cell. Again, pause at your own time. I'm just going to zoom in on that again so you can see. All these are called organelles, and I'm just going to zoom in on that so you can see. Lovely. Okay, so the next slide now, I'm going to show you and tell you what these things do. Here we go. Okay, so I'd like you to get a ruler, and we're going to put uh, organelles or function of organelles. So we can do the function of organelles. I'm going to underline it because it's a subtitle. There we go, just like that. And now I'm just going to draw a two column table. Okay, so it's one line in the middle of your page and then a line across. So I'm going to have the organelle, organelle in this column and then the function in this column. So I'm gonna put the four organelles that's found, or this probably most important uh, first. So I'm gonna go nucleus, then I'm gonna go mitochondria. Yeah, I might do the, actually I'm gonna do the four plant, uh, the four animal ones first, and then I'm gonna go cytoplasm, and then I'm gonna go uh, cell, membrane okay and then i'm going to do the three extra ones that's found in the plant which is the cell wall then there's the vacuole and then right right at the bottom here is the chloroplast or just chloroplast okay, I'll just extend that a little bit again please pause because i'm sort of rushing through this so if you can't get this in time just press pause now the nucleus contains the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. So this, we'll say, we can't say it's the brain of the cell, but we can say controls, control cell functions, functions. Okay, so everything happens in the cell is controlled by the DNA. What does the mitochondria do? It's the site, and that's one of our keywords there, of resp. Aeration. In brackets, I'm just going to put energy because that's where we get our energy from, respiration. The cytoplasm is the site, again, keyword, it's the site of, it takes place here, so the site of chemical, 
chem a cal reactions. Okay, so the site of chemical reactions. What does a cell membrane do? I'm just going to put arrows like this and like this. Okay, it allows substances to move in and out of the cell. So substances, substance, or actually, I'm going to don't write that. Controls, controls, move element of substances, substances, so things, stuff, in and out of the cell. What does the cell wall do? It protects, so we're onto the plant cell now, protects and support. Okay, protects and supports the cell. What does a vacuole uh, do? It contains, contains, Cell sap, that's all you need to remember for that. Cell sap. And then the chloroplast is the site. So photosynthesis takes place here. So site of photosynthesis. Lush. Okay, so that is kind of the lesson done there. Now, what I'm going to do on the next slides, I'm going to ask you some questions to see what we can get. Okay, so in this bit, I've drawn an animal and a plant cell. Here, this is your animal and the plant. And then your questions are gonna be below. I'd like you to answer in full sentences. For example, what is A? And you could say A is the, okay? So question one, so you underline this in your books, questions, you don't have to redraw this, okay? We're just asking questions now. So question one, what is A? Okay, what is A? Question B, uh, question two, sorry, what is B? So B is pointing at nothing there. Okay, question three, what is the function of C? So I'm not asking you what these are now, I'm asking you what the function is. What is the function of these things? Okay, you've got the little zigzags in them. Question four, name organelle D. So I want to name this, be careful on this one, okay. Question five then, what does E contain? So what does this contain? Question six, what is the purpose of F? What's the function, what's the purpose of F? Question seven, name organelle G on a plant cell, okay? So it's different from these things. They're only found in plants. And then your challenge question, remember now, we want full sentences. Name three organelles found in a plant cell that are not found in animal cells. So I need three organelles that's found here, not here. Question nine, why is respiration important? That is an N there, okay. Why is respiration important? And then question 10, what does DNA do? What's the, what, why have we got DNA? Okay, I'm gonna, Leave it there, press pause, do these questions, and then we'll do the answers. Lovely, so here's the answers. So question one, what is A? A is the nucleus. Question B, uh, question, I've done that twice now. Question two, what is B? B is your cytoplasm. Again, get your red pens, mark this correct, or get the answers in if you haven't got them. Question three, what is the function of C? It's the site of respiration. So it's there for respiration. Four, name organelle D, that was the cell membrane. Be careful not to put cell wall. What does E contain? It contains the cell sap. What is the purpose of F? It protects and supports the cell. Name organelle G, that was your chloroplast. Okay, challenge. Name the three organelles found in plant cells and not found in the animal cells. Well, that's your vacuole, your cell wall, and your chloroplast. Why is respiration important? It provides energy, so without um, respiration, we, would, we wouldn't be able to live because it does uh, provide that energy for us. And then what does DNA do? It controls the cell activities. Your what went well and even better to if for today is I am able to label animal and plant cells and then your even better if describe the functions of each cell. So I hope this has been okay. Um, I hope we've all completed this and then um, We'll see you next time. So, well then.